I would like to turn it over to Al Austin. Hi, I'm Long Beach Councilman Al Austin, and I really want to take this opportunity to thank our amazing Rancho Los Cerritos team uh, for keeping the, the lights on and keeping the operations going since June of 2020 as a place of respite and peace during a very turbulent year. While overall volunteer hours were significantly curtailed in 2020 because of COVID-19, our, and our Rancho Los Cerritos volunteers as an aggregate still reported over 7,375 service hours in 2020, despite the site's temporary close, closure, excuse me, from March 12th to June 3rd, and the need to cancel all public and education programs. We wanna thank you for your continued service to our Rancho and look forward to a brighter 2021. I wanna also congratulate Martin Bell for becoming the Sarah Bixby Award winner, which is a testament to his amazing continued volunteer service and support. Thank you, Martin. And way to go Rancho Los Cerritos team. We are so proud to have you as a member of the great 8th district. Please keep up the great work and look forward to visiting you and seeing you all soon. Thank you. Thank you, Al, for your message. And thank you all for continuing to be amazing volunteers. Last year, we had to close the house and grounds, as you know, in early March. However, with your help, we were able to open the grounds on June 3rd, and we have kept the grounds open ever since. Woo -hoo! That's pretty amazing. Woo -hoo! And as we move forward, our plans are to open the lower level of the house to the public. We, have, we will have a soft opening on April 28th for our volunteers board and members. And then we will open our house to the public on May 5th. People will be able to view the dining room and the parlor through the yellow doors that open into the sun porch. And people will be able to view the library from the sun porch as well. People will enter through the green gates walk the work wing, go into the lower level, and exit again into the inner courtyard. We'll have a one-way path of travel to keep social distancing protocols in place. And the upper level will be closed. However, it will, can be viewed on the iPad that will be located in the sun porch between the parlor and the dining room. We'll be offering the Clio tour and self-paced tours. And we will start to offer docent lead tours in mid-June when the restrictions in California loosen even further. I know we all pay attention to the news and we can see how things are going, which is really awesome. So we're getting there. And when we do offer those tours, uh, we'll need to ask our guests you know, what they want to see, how much they want to spend for time on a tour, and it will be exciting to offer a public a variety of options. Self-paced tours, Clio app tours, and docent-led tours of both the gardens and the house. That said, I also want to say, hands up to Martin Bell as a Sarah Bixby Award winner. And then to our ABCD Award recipients, Laura Breen, Diana Marquez, Nancy Boyles, Tom Heaton, Joyce Sharada, and Chris Wesley. Amazing work. Thank you all. And thank you all for being absolutely amazing, amazing volunteers for this site. I also am excited about Laura's poll with the volunteers about who's interested in the garden and house docent training. So that is very exciting and we'll be coming back with more details. And now I want to turn this over to Sarah, who I think has some pretty amazing great news. And we are frankly very thrilled for her. So Sarah, please announce. Hi, everybody. I am happy to see you all. Um, yes, I have some 
some changes going on in my personal and professional life that I want to share with you. Uh, so I recently completed my dissertation. Uh, so I now have my PhD in history. And I've also accepted a faculty position at Valdosta State University in Southern Georgia. Uh, which is bittersweet news to share with you. That means that I am resigning my position at Rancho Los Cerritos. Uh, so my last day will be July 1st. And um, I'm going to miss working with you all very much, you know, just kind of on this theme of acknowledging our wonderful volunteers. I just, I want to say that, you know, this is my first job out of graduate school. And I just feel so lucky that I was able to work with such an incredible volunteer force. I still have a couple of months left at the Rancho and that time will be dedicated to um, completing the exhibit that will be going up in September that will be dedicated to um, making sure all curatorial projects are handled and, and that the transition goes smoothly. So if you do work with me, you will be hearing from me if you haven't already. Um, so things will still be continuing on and my goal is to make the transition to um, the next person taking over curatorial uh, to be as smooth as possible. So I just wanted to share that news and thank you all for being wonderful people to work with. And I'm happy that I still have a couple of months left to, to work with you all. And with that, I will hand it over. Staff and volunteers, uh, say one thing that you most love, volunteers, about volunteering at the Rancho, staff, about our volunteers at the Rancho. Um, a lot of people have their video on and their camera off. So let's see, why don't we start with Marie? <laughs> there are words, there are, there are so many words and so many wonderful things about our volunteers. Literally, when you take a look at the grounds today, they would not look as good without the volunteers who come and get grubby every week. We would not have the product in the gift shop if we did not have people who well, well, actually excited about coming to do tedious work <laughs> to put stuff together for the gift shop. You guys are amazing for the wayfinders and for those volunteers who are doing curatorial and who want to once again be doing house, garden and school tours you're still part of the family, even if I don't get to see you. And so the dedication, I think, is one of the most amazing things to me for all of you, all of you people, and you inspire me. Thanks, Marie. Lori Adams, one thing about that you love most about volunteering. Mm, it's hard to say in one word, the guests. Fantastic, thanks. Laura Salazar. Oh, I think it's uh, making the friends, the friendships and the smiles and everything and the groups we uh, work with. And um, I just love everybody. So glad, good to see you. Toby, can we hear from you? Hi, you know, I just started. So I, um, I'm loving loquats. I never ate one. I never saw one. <laughs> I've seen a lot of loquats last week and this week. And I just have to say um, the people I've worked with, they're, they're so friendly. Everybody's so friendly and it's been great. I've been working with Marie for a while now doing birding and that's how I kind of got involved with it. And I'm, I'm just having fun meeting the people so friendly, everybody I've talked to. Thanks, Alana. Um, so besides the fact that we just couldn't do anything without our volunteers, um, I really like learning from you all because I think everyone from their own like personal backgrounds and then from additional research that they've done, I feel like every day that I'm in interacting with volunteers, I'm learning multiple new things. And so I really enjoy that. Thanks, Alfred. Oh, there's so much to love about you guys. Uh, I just kind of to piggyback on Alana, we wouldn't be able to function as we do without your help and with all you guys doing, we're we're just so grateful and I know I am and we're happy to have you guys. We're very lucky. Thanks, Alfred. Sarah? Uh, I think one word that comes to mind is generosity. Just there's a spirit of giving among volunteers, generous of your time, your talents, your energy, your, your efforts, um, and generous with your different knowledge and skill sets. And I'm just constantly amazed by volunteers this past year, but also since I've begun 
generosities is the word that I would use to describe our volunteers. Thanks, Sarah. Andreina? Honestly, the reason why we thrive, the reason why we could keep our doors open if it wasn't for our generous volunteers, we wouldn't have been able to thrive without them. So thank you all. Appreciate that. Uh, Edie? Edie, we'll come back to you. Oh, Claire? Thank you. Um, I think the volunteers for me are the most inspiring part of the Rancho. Um, they make all the wheels go round and um, so grateful for your service to the Rancho community. Um, it really is uh, very, very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thanks, Claire. Uh, Jean and Gail? Well, we're waiting for Jean and Gail. Oh, okay. so, can you hear us now? Now we can. There we go. <laughs> the friends you make, the long lasting friendship yeah. that comes yeah. out of all this. Well, oh, that's one word. Oh, well, we're, yes. <laughs> that's kind of tough. He finds it hard to use just friends. one word. Well, there's two of you. <laughs> you can use <laughs> Thank you. Edie, it looks like you're off oh, mute now. Um, I love all of our volunteers. They're so I can kind of caring, sharing, generous, hardworking, um, and really as guests come, okay. I'm proud that our volunteers represent the Rancho. They, they hold us in good stead. Um, thank you very much. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll go to Krista. Hey guys, um, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you do and just the variety of jobs that you do, that you're always willing to just, you know, not just do one thing, but do whatever needs to be done, you know, and share your passion for history. And a special thank you to those volunteers that share the photos they take of the site with me for social media. That's always really helpful for my job. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Uh, Krista was especially thanking those who share photos, if that was a little hard to hear. Laura Salazar? Uh, I think you had me before. That's what I was. I talked about friends. Uh, thank you. I'm so sorry. Um, Genesis? Yeah, so um, I would like to say thank you um, for the work that you do and the passion and the love that you put into the Rancho to really give visitors that amazing firsthand experience. Um, so yeah, thank you for allowing us to keep those big, green, beautiful doors open to our Long Beach community. Awesome. Gregory? So we just got in the house. <laughs> oh, I just love Rancho. You guys, like, so teach me about the history that um, has given me a much better opening to becoming more human with uh, my fellows and um, realizing that there was so much work that we still need to do in this country um, towards equality across the board. And um, I don't know, there's a, it's a, a level of humanity that um, it just, it's pervasive, you know what I mean? I, I, I just don't know how to describe it other than um, it's just made me a better person. So um, I really appreciate all of you. Thanks, Gregory. Ina Levin? So what I really appreciate is the connection to history that I get to make. It's just very, very exciting to me. And as I dust things and inventory it I realized somebody else before me used it and it gets to go on to another generation and I just love that whole continuity. Thank you. Uh, Jan and Landis. 
we were just reflecting on the, all the new volunteer faces and also the experienced <laughs> longtime volunteers that uh, we're seeing. It's just, it's, it's so exciting to see all, all of you guys together. It's great. You want to say anything? Well, the volunteers are obviously the lifeblood of the rancho, and this is just such a wonderful thing to be able to get all this together in spite of all the uh, glitches in the Zoom, but at least we're seeing each other and talking to one another, so it's good. Thanks. Uh, let's see, the Zadakas, Joy and Haya. Yeah, I had to unmute. Um, well, uh, for my part, I enjoyed all the wonderful people I've met on the staff and among the volunteers. And I really appreciate the opportunity to learn so much about history. Hein? And we enjoyed meeting a lot of the volunteers and becoming friends with some of them, of course. And we enjoy uh, telling the visitors about the history of the rancho. We can hardly wait to get back. <laughs> <laughs> One of our ABCD award winners, Laura Breen. Hi, yeah, it's really meant a lot to me working there. Um, I've enjoyed in the garden. I'm so excited about learning about more plants and how to take care of the plants and um, the work that I do. And then during public hours, um, the variety of people that, uh, that come to the rancho when you chat them up, it's just interesting. Like why they're there. It's a big variety of people that come for a lot of different reasons. So um, I just love being there. And I'm, I have a renewed interest in history. It's like, it's very exciting, makes you excited about history. So I love it. I'm really grateful to be there. Thanks, Laura. Uh, Lois, what, Lois W? Oh, hi. Um, I really like volunteering. I, I did, you know, I really enjoyed being a school docent. Hope that starts again. But now that I've been doing the public hours, it's always fun, a lot of fun to meet the people. And it's always sometimes kind of amazing, kind of surprising or, ha or amazing that, you know, they sometimes they stay so long, an hour or longer. And when they leave, they're so happy. They've had such a good time. And they often have a little children with them who are so happy too and just enjoyed everything, the grass, the plants, looking for the butterflies, for the lizards and whatever else they can find. So that's fun. And I've also uh, really enjoyed learning more about history and got me into reading some books about it. And so I've enjoyed that part too. Thanks, Lois. Okay. Uh, Lori Adams. I already talked. Whoops. Sorry I already about talked. That. Thank you very much. I apologize. Uh, Mallory, have you gone? I'll go. <laughs> um, I just want I just appreciate all of our volunteers enthusiasm for this site. Just um, in general, there's something that brought you here. So you should celebrate that interest. And um, I really appreciated that, um, you know, over the past couple months, and hopefully, for the rest of the year, your um, willingness to accommodate and help me out with these private events and sh you know show people around and get them excited about their event at the Rancho. It's very important um, and special to me that you guys do that. And it, it kind of helps me not have to sell it that hard. <laughs> it speaks for itself <laughs> and you guys speak for the Rancho as well. So I appreciate you for that. Thank you. Thanks, Mallory. Uh, Marsha? getting there. Okay, one word, connections. That's with everything. <laughs> Can you hear it now? Yes, and thank you. And Marsha followed directions by having just one thing. <laughs> Thanks, Marsha. Well, you one know, I a lot more words, but you said one and that's kind of Yeah, I said so one too. Everything. I was going to say friends, but then uh, <laughs> you know, I was kidding. All right and all that. Anyway, I miss being there and I hope to come back soon. Thanks, Marcia. Uh, let's see. Oh, two award winners. We have Martin and Joyce. So we have an ABCD and a Sarah Bixby. 
hear us? Hello? Okay, that would be uh, people. So people that would be, um, I, so staff, volunteers, and the visitors. So getting to meet all sorts of different people has been real, um, a, real, a real great experience for me. And I guess from a purely selfish standpoint, I would have to say the occasional piece of free fruit. <laughs> That's what I like, <laughs> among other things. Truth be told. Thank you. Uh, you get free fruit? <laughs> Sometimes. How about Nancy and Floyd? Um, I just love all the people there, the volunteers, the staff, and also the visitors who come. And I think it's a great learning place. I've learned an awful lot. The ambiance of the rancho is, is really good. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Sue, our staff member. I guess my one word would be kindness. And I'd like to thank all the volunteers for your kindness, generosity, and time that you um, give to the rancho to keep it and make it special. Thanks, Sue. And I was just noting that you are a staff member because we also have a Susan more, uh, who is going to go next. Thank you, Sue. That's exactly what I intended. And now, Susan. Hi. Um, ser the serenity there. Walking up the driveway, I was just think I'm stuck in, stepping back in time. Thank you. How about Tessa? Uh, definitely the relationships and um, the friendships I've built. I spend more time with my Rancho family than my other family who I guess I'm related to. Um, and mm -hmm. It, I, I have to tell you, it's been such a difficult year um, that we've come through together and it's been so moving to spend the time with each of you and to see your dedication through it and the, the level of compassion and heart that has gone into it. You know, so many other organizations have struggled and we've been so lucky to have you and, and how much you've done for us. Thank you. Thanks, Tessa. Vicki? Since it's one word, I would say family because the friends and the staff and even the, the visitors, it's just such a pleasant place to be. It's a wonderful place. Thanks, Vicki. Terry, did we hear from you yet? Uh, yeah, um, I was thinking of one word that no one has said yet and I would say smiles. All the smiles we get at the ranch. Uh, even under masks, you can see the smile. I love that picture too. Who, who said that, Krista? That's a beautiful picture. I think that I've gotten to everyone with two exceptions. So I wanna say how much I appreciate all of the volunteers. It is super fun for me to fill in every once in a while as staff on duty, because it's just such a pleasure to see our Rancho volunteers, some who I've known for years and years and some who I, uh, Toby, I can't wait to meet you. Some I'm just meeting for the first time. Um, just just such a pleasure um, to connect with all of you. Allison, you get the last word. I just wanna say thank you. I mean, it's, as we all know, it's been an intensely trying 2020 and we're moving into a better 2021. But, Honestly, we're one of the few museums in the entire U.S. that has had their grounds open since June 3rd. And we couldn't have done it without the volunteers, you know, being in essence our frontline workers, being there to greet people, to welcome people, to offer them information. I mean, that is pretty amazing. Get a little emotional, so I'll keep it short, but it's amazing. So thank you all. I mean, we had an amazing 2020. 2021 will be even better. So thank you all for an amazing job. 
Thank, Thank you, you, Allison. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who joined us to see what it looked like so different on another side of the country in a tenement compared to those who lived at the Rancho, same time period that Temple was there. Very, very, very different life story. Very interesting. Um, that was a fun thing. That was just a special one-off for our Volunteer Appreciation Month, our Volunteer Appreciation Week that this week is. Uh, but you know that we appreciate you in and out, um, day in and day out, month in and month out, all the time that you spend at the Rancho and all the time that you spend thinking about the Rancho. We will gather again on uh, Tuesday, May 18th. We have a very special program as always. Um, this one will focus on birding at the Rancho uh, with our Audubon fellow, um, the Randy Harwood. So that's pretty exciting. And we have a whole lineup all summer. Of course, you know that we're hoping, cautiously optimistic is the word, that we can gather in person at the Reef Restaurant in September, the third Tuesday in September, for what would have been our celebration last April, what would have been our celebration this April if it wasn't the pandemic, but it is. And so we will celebrate together in person just as soon as we can, we hope on September 21st. We'll be celebrating yeah. our uh, winners of the Sarah Bixby Award for two years. We will be celebrating our ABCD Award winners, but really we'll be celebrating our community <laughs> because that's what we have at the Rancho. Uh, keep up all the good work and um, passion that you have for the Rancho, and we'll see you all soon.